Let me tell you a tale about a hypothetical big law associate named John. John definitely for sure hates his job. Every time he's slammed at work, he's like, ugh, this sucks. As soon as I have a little bit of free time, I'm going to figure out a way out of here. But then when things lighten up, he starts to rethink. Maybe it's not so bad. Maybe I can stick it out a while longer. That feeling lasts until the next time that work gets ridiculous, at which point he's too busy to figure out what it is that he could do instead. And at some point during the year, even though he had the best of intentions of getting out, he realizes that bonus season is coming up. And after all, isn't it a bad idea to leave money on the table? So he holds out for the next bonus, and then it's overwhelm, second guessing, overwhelm, second guessing, and hey, wait, another bonus season is upon us. Can we talk about how to stop this awful cycle? I'm Sarah Cottrell, I practiced law for 10 years, and now I help unhappy lawyers ditch their soul-sucking jobs. This might be surprising coming from me, but the first thing that you need to do if you're finding yourself in this overwhelm to second guessing cycle back and forth and back and forth is to uh -huh. figure out whether you really want to leave your job. There are lawyers who spend a lot of time beating themselves up because they haven't left their job yet. But the reality is it's really because they don't want to, or at least not yet. So of course they don't end up making any real moves towards leaving. It makes sense, it's logical, and if this is you, the best thing that you can do for yourself is to jettison all the I shoulds and the guilt and to do what makes sense for you. You can be honest with yourself and tell yourself, I haven't left yet because I don't want to leave yet. Figuring out whether that's you can be very complex and it's one of the many reasons that I recommend therapy for all lawyers. But what if you're someone who genuinely does want to leave your job and you're finding yourself trapped in this cycle? For me, the thing that kept me trapped in this cycle was trying to time my career-related epiphanies down to the minute. Look, it's no secret that if you want to leave your big law job for something else, especially a non-legal job, that's a process that's going to take some time. It's not particularly easy. It might be simple, but it's not easy. And even though the process can be simple with the right support, until you are into that process, you just don't know how long it's going to take. Unsurprisingly, you can't rush true epiphanies. So what does this have to do with bonus season? There are lots of big law associates who tell themselves, I'll hang on until the next bonus gets paid and then I'll figure out what I'm gonna do next. The problem is that if you wait to start figuring out what you want to do until you get your bonus, then you still have typically months of work ahead of you to actually go through that process. And then that tends to bring you pretty close to another bonus season and of course add in the second guessing overwhelm, second guessing overwhelm and eventually you guessed it. You're so far into the billable year that you tell yourself, huh, well, maybe I should just stay put a little while longer, and then the cycle repeats. So if you're genuinely interested in making a move, don't wait to start figuring out what you want. The next time that you emerge from the overwhelm part of the cycle and before you plunge into the second guessing part of the cycle, start taking concrete actionable steps that will help you figure out what it really is that you want to do next. And if you're shaking your fist at the screen yelling, but what concrete actionable steps should I take, Sarah? I don't know where to start. Then I've got you covered. In this video, I share what you should do if you are ready to start making real progress towards your goal of leaving your firm. So if you're ready to stop the overwhelm, second guessing, overwhelm, second guessing cycle, then head to that video. I'll see you there.